Indeed so. This world is not our home. We're just passing through. We are citizens of heaven. Amen. And that's where our focus is and should be. We are on our way to be with our King, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And Paul writing to the church in Philippi, in chapter 1, verse 27, he says, Above all, you must live as citizens of heaven, conducting yourselves in a manner worthy of the good news about Christ. So don't get too comfortable on this earth. Don't get sidetracked. That's right, with what the world has to offer. Our, we're just passing through. Our destination is heaven. I'm heaven bound. That's right. And your life here should be representative of the place you and I are going to. What does your lifestyle represent? Friends, indeed we are heaven citizens journey through the earth. Well, Paul is very explicit about what our purpose is and why we are on this earth. We are not just friends, inhabitants of earth. We are citizens of heaven passing through. Amen. We have a, a citizen as a sense of belonging to a specific place. And that's right. And friends, you and I have that passport into heaven, giving us entry when we accept the Lord Jesus Christ, as detailed in Romans 10, 9. Hallelujah! Friends, Paul is again stress, stressing these points and it says our in verse in that same verse 27 standing together with one spirit and one purpose fighting together for our faith that's what citizens of the kingdom of heaven do we stand together we show the cause that we that's right live for and friends it's all about the good news of jesus christ and we should never be intimidated by what's going on around us. Even when the enemy tries to bring us down, our lifestyle, our citizenship should give us that and must give us that authority and that power and that recognition. We are not people to be messed around with. Amen. That's right. Friends, in fact, the other, the opposite, the converse should apply. Again, Paul writing here saying, this will be a sign to them that what will this mean? Our lifestyle, what we stand for, our citizenship should be a sign to our enemies that we are going to, that they are going to be destroyed, but we are going to be saved by God himself. Hallelujah. Friends, we have been chosen as heaven's citizens to represent and to deliver heaven's purpose here on earth. We're just passing through. Mighty God and Heavenly Father, Daddy, in no other name we come but of your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Daddy, for our citizenship, our heavenly citizenship. Thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, that you sent and bought us with that price. Father, help us never to focus on the things of this earth. We are, yes, as your word says, in this earth, but are not of the earth. So help us keep our focus on the things to come. 
on our destination, our destiny, being in heaven with you. Father, help us to be true citizens, always displaying, Father, the fruit of the Spirit in our lives. Where we failed you and faulted, forgive us. Bring us back online is our prayer today. I speak it, I declare it in that mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Friends, until next time, this is Pastor Henry Samuels praying that you remain touched and changed in Jesus' mighty name. Stay blessed.